Uh, so, first of all, uh, you're born in Norwich, but uh, grew up half an hour away in North Walsham. Uh, you grew up in a Norwich State supporting household, so who is the biggest fan in your family? Um, I think it was definitely my dad. To be honest, it was my dad and my sister who used to have a season ticket, and they used to go every week and watch Norwich, and I was stuck at home with my mum. And to be honest, that was at the time when I wasn't really that interested in football, but I think it was as soon as my sister started playing, I wanted to be just like her, so... I joined in with her but we always had it on in the radio if we weren't there watching the game and yeah we were big supporters and I've always tried to go whenever I can. And tell me a little bit about North Walsham, it's described as a market town apart from you and the motorcycle museum, what's it famous for? <laughs> um, to be honest their market is really nice, um, every Thursday they have a market store and I used to go with my nan and yeah, it, it, to be honest, it's a great little town and obviously I grew up there, I went to school, went to primary school and secondary school there as well and yeah, I love it and I always walk into town with my mum whenever I'm at home and yeah, it's great just thinking about it. And as a young girl, how often did you go to Carroll Road? Uh, what are your earliest memories and do you remember wanting to be like any of the players you saw? Yeah, I think. I definitely looked up to Wes Houlihan. Um, he was a famous Norwich City player and James Madison I used to love as well before he left. Um, yeah, there's some fantastic players who have come through Norwich and yeah, I've, I've always supported them and obviously with them sometimes being in the Championship, then the Premier League and yeah, it's great to get to the games whenever I can. And yeah, I grew up going to Carra Road and being around uh, obviously great, great players and that inspired me to then want to be like them when I was older. And talking of people that inspired you, uh, tell me about your sister Amy, was she a similar player to the one you became or what was her playing style, did your playing style do was different? Yeah, I think she was more of a goal scorer than I'll ever be. Um, she was a out and out striker and yeah, she was a great player and unfortunately, she got injured and couldn't continue playing. So I feel like part of me is also doing this for her as well, because I know she'd have loved to have continued playing. She went to a couple of England camps as well and sort of done that before I then started to started to go to camps. Um, so I've got her full support behind me and she's always coming to the games whenever she can and supporting me from home. And yeah, it's great to have a family around me who who support me. I think I read that your granddad encouraged you to go with your sister to play for North Walsham. Um, had you not done that, would you have stuck to dancing at your sister's games? <laughs> Probably, yeah. I think at the time, like, I wasn't particularly interested in football, so I was just there sort of doing my own thing while my mum and my dad watched my sister play. And it wasn't until I was playing in the backyard garden of my nan and granddad's house that... Um, they sort of was like, why don't you give it a go? And dad took me along to um, my local grassroots team and I tried out there and yeah, the rest is history, I guess. Apart from Danny Mills, the, the list of Norwich born footballers to play for England is a relatively short one. Did, did the lack of Norfolk role models in the game make you think you might not be discovered growing up in such a remote part of the country? Um, I think to be honest, growing up, I never really thought of football as like a career I just always thought of it as a hobby and it wasn't till I was older that I thought this is actually possible and I think I had to move home for me to do that and I moved to Bristol and um, went to college there and they had a great college sort of academy set up there and I think obviously we had so much talent in Norwich but there just wasn't um some elite female football clubs that I could go to and I needed to move away from home to do that but they sort of gave me a fantastic start into my football career and obviously having that centre of excellence and being able to also I've trained with the boys as well um, the elite boys um, for Norwich and so that was great for me and it's definitely helped me in my journey to become a professional athlete. When you left Norwich, you, you travelled about as far as you could in the country to Bristol. Did, did that make it harder for you in some ways or easier that you couldn't just pop home for day? Um, I think it was definitely harder. I remember when I used to play for Norwich when I was younger and we'd go away on tours and travel the country and I used to get really upset that I was away from home and my family and I think it wasn't until 
I did actually move to Bristol that that it was real and I think it, it's helped a lot with my independence and yeah it's definitely come on leaps and bounds but you don't normally see 16 year olds have like moving away from home so for me it was a massive thing at such a young age but yeah it's it's all part of my journey and it's helped me become the player and the person that I am today but it was always difficult going home it was a, a five hour drive at best to get back and see my family so yeah they're, they're the sort of sacrifices that I made to sort of be where I am today. And on Sunday, will you have members of your extended family or friends in Norfolk attending the game Carrow who wouldn't normally come and watch you play? Yeah, I think I've got the whole one of the stands filled, to be honest, with all my friends and family. I'm just trying to get as many tickets as I can possible because a lot of them are back home sort of messaging me saying they're going to be there supporting me. And it's great to have a lot of my school friends, my mum's friends, my sister's friends, obviously all my family and and yeah, I've just got a load of people coming, so I can't wait to get back at Cow Road on, on Sunday and sort of show Norfolk the amount of quality there is in women's football. I think uh, Lucy Brunner said today that she'd never been to Norwich. Have you had a lot of your international teammates asking you about Norwich and what it's like in Norfolk? Yeah, definitely. A lot of a lot of them have said that because, like you said, it's it's not often that people come to Norwich, so it'll great to, it'll be great to sort of show them the area um because it is a fantastic city and i loved growing up there and i wouldn't change it for the world i always love coming back home so yeah it'll be a great experience for everyone and i, th I think i'll definitely be the tour guide <laughs> and uh, there you you of course uh, play spain uh, you faced many of the squad when you played barcelona last season were, were they the best team you think you've ever played against and what do you expect from spain at the Euros? yeah i think they're definitely the best um possession based team that i've seen um, it was fantastic to play them in a Champions League fixture like that, um, playing for City. But now to obviously being being like playing them on the world class stage um, will be a great experience for me and, and the rest of the group. And these are the sorts of games you want to be playing in. And we're gonna go there. Um, obviously, try our best and make sure that we do try and win because we want to be in the best position we can co going into the Euros and. This is the start of that and hopefully um yeah we'll we'll go on to do great things and yeah i'm looking forward to that and obviously spain are a top team as well as germany and canada so yeah they'll is i think what they'll bring is a lot of possession based football a lot of attacking threats um but hopefully we'll we'll be able to match that and go one step ahead of them you're now playing under Serena Wiegmann, a coach that's always played wingers with the Netherlands. Considering that she helped uh, Lika Martins become the best player in the world from playing in your position at the last year, what advice has she given you and what new things do you think she's brought to your game? Um, I think she's a fantastic coach. She's always coming up to me during training sessions, after training sessions, giving me little pieces of advice to help my game and she's very detailed as a coach and is very specific with the things I need to work on so it's great to have uh, her and the other coaches around me who are so influential in helping me become um, a better player and I think the main thing for me is being consistent with everything whether that's helping the team as much as I can in scoring creating goals and yeah I just want to improve my overall game as much as I can and yeah, it's, it's nice to have Serena sort of backing me and helping me to do that. Um, at, at the Tokyo Olympics, you, you were the most fouled uh, female player at the Games. Do you, do you take that physical treatment as a compliment or just something you have to deal with as a woman? Yeah, I think it's something that a lot of players have to deal with. Um, obviously, I love taking people on and sometimes that results in me getting fouled or whatever but yeah I sort of all I take it in my stride and I love keeping sort of running at players because that's one of my strengths and yeah I, I enjoy every part of the game and I don't mind getting a bit dirty on the ground as well um every now and again but yeah I, I love playing football and if that if that's what happens sometimes then that's what happens and, and finally that, that that was your first senior international tournament that played without fans so how much would it mean to you next summer to play in front of your family and friends yeah it'll mean so much i think on sunday like i'll be able to see them supporting me there and to just have them in the crowd watching me it 
it definitely helps me when I'm playing because to me they're like the 12th player them them showing their support and just being able to see them in the crowd is is massive for me and I can't wait for them to come to all the like the games um like the qualifiers coming up and the ones at home as well so yeah obviously to have their support this summer um I'd love to be involved in the squad but we'll just have to wait and see and yeah I mean any fan that can come to the games in the summer is just going to be amazing and obviously that starts now and we're hoping to see as many people there as possible in the next three games and we're really looking forward to it.